we're thinking about how we um, start to talk about treatment, what are the stages of ovarian cancer um, in terms of going over what we, what, we look, what we look for? Yeah, so I think that's a great question. And I think going back to what you mentioned in talking about symptoms, one of our biggest challenges is that these epithelial ovarian cancers are often diagnosed at an advanced stage. So what does that mean? And so stage is really important to all cancers. And in fact, it gives us a lot of information about kind of what your outcomes may look like anytime you're diagnosed with a cancer. And so the idea behind staging is to talk about whether or not this cancer is just where it started, right? So in this case, we're talking about starting in the ovary or the fallopian tube, or even the lining of the abdomen, as you mentioned, the peritoneum. If it is just in that organ where it started, then that is our stage one. So when we talk about ovarian cancer, it's when we find it just in the ovary, or if it started in the fallopian tube, it's just in the fallopian tube, and it hasn't spread to the organs next to it. Um, and then as we move up through the stages, it means that that cancer has moved from the place that it started into the organs next to it. And so for ovarian cancer, if it starts in the ovaries, the things that are close to it are the fallopian tubes. And so if it moves into the tubes or if it starts in the tubes and moves out to the ovaries, that's part of what we call stage two cancer. The other things that are near the ovaries are other organs in your pelvis, things like your, your bowel or your bladder that's down in the pelvis itself. And so if this cancer spreads out to the pelvis, to other organs in the pelvis, we still call that a stage two cancer because it's, while it has spread outside the ovary, it's still only right there next to it. As the cancer starts to spread away or becomes distant from, that's when we start to get to what we call advanced stage cancer. And advanced stage cancer includes stage three and stage four. And for ovarian cancer, that means that it's moved out of the pelvis and gone into the abdomen. So up where your stomach is or your liver or things like that. And so when the cancer moves up there, it's a stage three cancer. We also talk about cancer spreading to the lymph nodes. And so if the cancer spreads to the lymph nodes, that may also be a stage three cancer. And those lymph nodes kind of follow all the big blood vessels in your body. And so if they're just the lymph nodes that are in the abdomen and in the pelvis, that's stage three. But if it were to spread to lymph nodes outside of the abdomen and pelvis, or to other organs outside of the abdomen, or some of the organs in your abdomen, like the liver, that's what we would call stage four. And so if it goes into the lungs or into the chest and the lymph nodes there, that means the cancer has spread really far from where it started. And that would represent stage four cancer. 